Oh, hey guys. Thanks for tuning in to a quick video on ForgottenWeapons.com. Apparently, a trailer came out just a couple days ago for the next giant Battlefield game from EA and whoever they work with, and it's going to be World War I based. Now, I know about this because approximately everybody on the internet has asked me if I'm aware of it, and I am. I have also had a lot of people asking me to do some content on World War I related guns. I think that's a fantastic idea. In fact, I think it's such a fantastic idea that I've been doing it for like the last three years. So I figured there are a lot of you guys out there who are fairly uh, new subscribers to the channel. And so it seemed like a good idea to put together a playlist of World War I related content that I've already done. For those of you guys who are really interested, you saw Battlefield 4 and you're starting to think about World War I and want to know what they were actually using. So there are actually three channels that I would recommend you definitely take a look at. Um, there are certainly more than three, but three I would start with. One is, of course, me, because I'm me. Um, and you'll find a link here to my playlist on World War I related material I've done. Uh, number two would be In Range TV. That's my buddy Carl Casarda and I, and we've done a fair number of World War I related things as well, including a couple of World War I two-gun matches that I'm sure you'll enjoy watching. And the third is Othias Channel C and Arsenal, or Primer, as he's renamed it. So you'll find a link here to his channel as well. And he's done a whole ton of really good, very in-depth material specifically on World War I that fits really well. He's been doing that because it's the centennial and he's been working with the Great War Channel, which is another channel you should check out if you're interested in the history behind World War I instead of just the guns. So I think those four things, uh, the Forgotten Weapons World War I playlist, the in-range TV World War I playlist, everything that CN Arsenal has done pretty much, and everything that the Great War has done. I think those will hold you for a very long time, possibly even until October when the game actually comes out. And yes, when the game comes out, we'll take a look at it and we'll see how realistic they are, what they did right, what they did, they did wrong, and we'll tell you guys all about it. Thanks for watching.